Hey guys, welcome to tip of the day. This is Viren here. And in this video, we will learn to uh, start editing on Camtasia in under 10 minutes. And you heard that right. So this is my Camtasia here. I will pull the media files. So we hit import. That's how the video clip or the file that you're editing is already here. The other way that you can pull the files is directly drag and drop them into the media space of Camtasia. So there we are. So we have the files here. So then you can pull the files onto the tracks. Now this is, uh, these are the tracks where you put the footage. Okay. And I can pull up this photograph as well here. Now you can contract if you have too, too many files here, you can just press the control button and use the scroller to contract the files or you can use this plus minus button also here to contract the files just so that you have a better view and this is now the canvas where you uh, you can see the uh, preview so let's say i will hit here and to show you the preview so this audio clip has both audio and video you can do a right click and there are a number of options here i will hit separate audio and video and I can delete the audio by selecting it or you can do a right click and then delete it anyways you can do a control Z and it will be back and you do a control Z once again so it's back in here so now let's say you want to cut the files uh, you want to so, you know chop this file someplace so what you can do is you can start playing and you can decide at a particular point so let's say here you want to chop it and you see the split option here once this is selected it's highlighted and you hit this and now you can see this is divided into two parts and i can directly go then delete this one and, and then these are the effects here so let's say after this file is over and when the picture starts that is the photograph so let's say you want to give some sort of transition effect you can go to transitions and let's say i'll give the blinds so you just drag that effect here and drop it here so now if you see the moment the video clip is over you get the blind option and the other clip starts so it is as simple as that and then you have other options uh, animations behaviors and you can start exploring them but pretty much that's that's what Camtasia is it's very simple they have also added a library here where you can start adding music or whatever so let's say in this one I will do a separate audio video and I will delete the audio and then I can go to music tracks and let's say I'll just drag this audio file here which is pretty big so what I can do is again I can chop it here and then delete that part that's about it so it's as simple as that uh, then you can go to audio effects so let's say on this audio you can do audio compression you can do removal uh, noise removal and other things fade out fade in but this is i think the simplest form of edit tool that is available and once you are done with all these things you can hit export and go to local file now uh, these are the presets you can share uh, this to youtube directly or you can uh, export it as 72480 typically i do a 1080p hit next and let's say this is my test video project and you can select where you want to save it so by default I have set it to desktop here hit finish and it will start rendering that's all that's all you need to do in Camtasia it's as simple as that well that was quick uh, so I still have some time because that was under five minutes so let me show you some a few more things so I'll drag the clip here once again let's talk about uh, the options here on the left hand side so the first one is annotation so you can use any one of them so this is basically when you put you know, put uh, any kind of text here on your video you hit a control a select it all and on the right side you can change the color of the font and the size and the spacing etc so you can keep on track the other option is behavior so these are basically the effects not only to the text but whatever 
the photos or whatever you put here so for example let's say we'll pull up this photograph here the jpeg file and let's say i want this file to fly in from the left hand side in the video so this this is the pick here what i'll do is i'll just go to behaviors and let's say i just want it to fly and i'll drag it and drop it on this or and you can drag it on the timeline also now when we play <laughs> I'll just delete this. I think there's a lot of disturbance. I'll delete the audio as well. Oh, losing time. So here you see, that's the effect that you get. And you can try a number of other things. Now in terms of animation, this is the place where you can zoom so let's say uh, at a particular point in time you want to zoom at a particular place in your video so let's say in in this clip i want to zoom at the photograph so when i'm here go to animations and at this point i just want the video to concentrate at this point so a point uh, a point is created here and when i hit the play again to keep on playing and then i stop and make the size actual screen and then there are two points created here so basically what it's doing is it's creating a point wherein it knows between these two points it, need, it needs to zoom at this particular place uh, that's about it and um, then you have audio effects so you can separate your audio video and then you can apply these effects you can compress the audio you can fade in fade out or do a noise removal uh, that's pretty much and uh, you can try other few things uh, feel free to put your questions and I, I will be more than glad to help you so that's about it guys i hope this has helped you this was under 10 minutes and it's a it's a pretty simple tool uh, you know for your video edits so thank you and don't forget to subscribe